work with status reason transitions. My name is Paresh and this is episode 10. So every organization has its own resolution process and its own status that its case might be in, whether it is in progress, in waiting, on hold or whatever those individual situations are. So one of the things that is nice from Dynamics perspective is the ability to customize the status reason transitions to define specifically how people might move from one status to another. Now, these are the statuses that will be available to the agents in the system. So this is one of those customization scenarios that we can set up to make sure that it's working. And that is what the agents are intending to work with. So what we are going to do over here is click on the cog and and click on advanced settings. And once we are on the advanced settings, we can click on settings and click on customizations. Under customizations, we can click on the customized system. And here we are in the customization with the default solution. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to customize the available status transitions that are there from a case perspective. So I will expand the entities section over here and then look for case and expand the case. And over here under the case, we will click on fields. There are a few different fields that make this up. There is the state code, which is the actual case status. And then there is something called as status reason. So when I open the status reason field, I can see over here at the bottom that there are three different status, active, resolved, and canceled. Let me select resolved status over here. Now each of the status has something called status reasons, which provide additional detail about that particular item. So it was a resolved case, but was it resolved because the problem was solved or because I provided some knowledge base article to the customer? So this is a section where I want to add some additional status reasons that would define what is going on within the particular scenario. And I can do that. Same thing with the active status over here. I can say that the, it is active because the case is in progress or on hold, or we are waiting for some details, or it is in a researching mode. Now, simply by coming over here and clicking on add, I can define more status reason that would define what we want to do with this particular item. The other advantage to this is I can also control how I can transition from one status to another. So when I click on edit status reason over here at the top, this gives me the ability to define how people might move from one status reason to another status reason in the application. So for example, if I choose to enable the status reason for transitions, when a call is in progress, I can define what specific statuses we have the ability to go to. So if I click on the ellipses over here and say that when someone is in call, which is in progress, they have the ability to transition to either putting them on hold, waiting for details, maybe researching or problem solved and canceled. So what this has done is it limits what specific transitions people can go to from one item to another. Now, the only rule that you need to remember is that when you're working through an active status transition, it has to be able to go to at least one inactive type scenario. So I have to provide a path to either a canceled, merged or problem solved status. So it has to have one inactive type scenario. In this case, it is problem solved and canceled. Similarly, if the case is on hold, what all can I do? So let me just click on the ellipsis over here and I can say that I can either go to in progress or I can go to canceled and I can also go to problem solved. So this defines how people want to work through the case. And then we can click on OK. Now, once you are done customizing, you can click on OK and then you can go ahead and publish the customization. Now, this will be available in the applications to provide much more custom experience for your agents as they are working through the transitions from one case status to another.